Hello and welcome to this video. So today, as promised, I will tell you all about the electronics of my custom CNC machine. So to get started, just a really rough overview. I have my MacBook here, which is running Universal Cheat Code Sender which is connected via USB to an Arduino that is right here and I have installed the Gerbil firmware on there and the, the Arduino is connected to my four stepper drivers which are powering the, my four motors. That's basically the really rough overview. I'm gonna show you a more precise one later and I also have Two power supplies back here, one is for the motors and one is for my router here in the front. So the way I hooked my motors up is that I have drag chains along the X and Y axis where the cables for the motors are running through so that there isn't a big cable clutter everywhere. So let's just take the Z motor for example, the cable goes in here through this drag chain over here back out and into the next drag chain over here and then back into the control box. That's pretty much the same for the other motors. And for the Y motor on this side I just fed the cable through one of those, those beams right here so that it is protected and nice and hidden. Okay, so now let's take a bit of a closer look at the electronics themselves. What you can see here with the green connectors on top, these are the motor drivers that take the signal from the Arduino and power it up for the motors. They have with these red and black wires right here, they get 24 volts from the bottom power supply right here. Then with this bunch of wires, they get the signal from the Arduino back here, which is controlling everything. And then the signal from here goes into the controllers. This is also where I can set up things like micro stepping and the power output for the motors. And then it goes into the gray cables right here that are running to the motors. I also gonna mill a faceplate for here where I'm gonna connect the motors with connectors instead of plugging them directly into the drivers but that's the easiest solution for the moment. And what you can see on top right here as well is the power supply for the spindle. It's also getting AC in there back there and then I have this little knob where I can adjust the speed of the spindle and I also mounted just an on-off switch so I can turn it on and off. And then it goes into this black wire which is go coming all the way over to the spindle right here. Here you can also see that I just connected the motors up with these clamps. Just basically temporarily these are, aren't even fixed here. And they are working for now, but when I replace the cables, I will also make a neat solution for that. So now that I showed you everything in detail, I'm gonna plug this thing in and show you some of the action. So I'm gonna take the power cord and plug it in right now. It's gonna maybe be a bit louder, but you will hear it. So now I plugged in everything and of course right away all the motors are blocking like they should so I can't move this axis anymore. They are really strong and I am also connected to it now so I can move the axis. So this is inside of Universal G-Code Center. And you can see that down here the G-code lock 
right here I have some connection information. I can reset the, the axis or move to zero and stuff right here. Or I can move the machine by a given amount of millimeters right here. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just basically using like pressing on here and then the machine moves. This of course works for all axes. And I can also use my arrow keys for that. When I then want to use a real file, I go to over to file mode, go over to browse and then I can load in any cheat code file that I want. For example, this example one. And if I want some more information, I can go on to visualize. And here it is showing me exactly what the machine is gonna do. And so why don't we just uh, like try this out. I'm gonna move the machine in a spot where it's not going to be in a way. And so I'm just gonna send this. I have no idea what exactly it's gonna do. So I'm gonna send this right now. So that was already quite impressive and you could see um, how the axes are gonna move. Of course I wasn't able to use like actual router and write this out because it isn't properly calibrated yet and I actually don't even have a router bit yet. I still have to order these. But to show you at least a little bit of material flying around I'm just gonna drill a few holes using the control panel. So I'm sorry if it is a bit louder now. That's because the spindle here is running as well. I just put in a, a drill and I'm now gonna use the machine controls to uh, drill a hole in there. Okay, so I am now just barely above the surface and as I don't have a clamping system yet, I'm just gonna hold it in place and go down a bit. And I... So, a uh, fun, quite funny thing just happened. I have my laptop sitting right next to the other electronics and while the spindle was running, I actually had some interference and my cursor wasn't moving correctly. Uh, that's quite weird in that way. I wouldn't expect interference to result in like that, but when I now have my laptop a bit further, this should work and we can test it out to see. Just gonna uh, go down with the drill now. Okay, so we can see a hole right there. Maybe I need some more RPM. So I will go down by a bit and drill another hole. So you can see that just drilling holes works quite well. Of course that's not too interesting and so I'm gonna stop with that as well. So this was just a quick overview over all the electronics that I used in this build and how it is set up. If you have any questions for anything in particular you can leave them down in the comments and I will answer them there or I will make another video about it. If this was the first video you watched about this machine, 
you can check out all the other videos up here in the little eye and there are links to all the other parts of this and as soon as I will post the part where I finish everything up it will be in the little eye up there as well. So thank you for watching, if you like it please leave a like down below and also consider to subscribe. I also have Twitter and Instagram handles where I post a lot of behind the scenes about this build and other things. So thanks for watching and until next time.